Happy to see you here on my channel Brain Logic and really interesting and tricky challenge 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and 1 plus 1 inside parentheses and a lot of students might be saying okay mister this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen I know about addition division multiplication and addition right here so I can easily solve it I'll learn this stuff in the third grade so that's fantastic so go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section let's check our answers in the end of the video so it will be really interesting so right here we have a b and c so choose one option what do you think is a correct answer and write your option down into the comment section we will check our answers in the end of the video so first of all i want to rewrite this challenge right here so we have two we have plus two divided by two and in parentheses we have one plus one and a lot of students might be saying okay right here we have addition so it looks like our first mass operation right here we have division looks like second mass operation right here we have multiplication third mass operation and we have once more addition right here so this, as you can see we have four mass operations but in terms of mass we should know what is the correct order to do this problem because we can't solve these challenges randomly it's really bad thing in terms of mass to solve these challenges randomly so, so to solve these challenges wherever we want for example we want to add it first we do this we want to divide we do this and it's really bad thing to solve these challenges absolutely randomly this is really bad thing in terms of mass and it not work only, works only like that in terms of mass for example in biology we should know what is the correct definition correct property in terms of uh, chemistry we should Know what is the correct definition also yeah and in terms of mass we should know what is the correct order of operation yeah we should know how can we do this correctly and according to mass mass properties according to mass rules and in this uh, question for this question let's look for example at this pemdas order of operation this pemdas order of operation helps us a lot because then we can easily solve this according to a correct order of operation for example pemdas works like that firstly we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses next we should evaluate exponents next we should evaluate multiplication division part and the last Step, addition and subtraction part okay so right now let's solve this question according to this pemdas order of operation so we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and inside parentheses we have 1 plus 1 so here's our question and first of all as i told before first step so a higher position higher priority and the highest position have these parentheses so first let's scan where do we have these parentheses let's look at it so right here yeah we have right here our parentheses on the right hand side so first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses so let's do this so we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and times 1 plus 1 equal to do. so we complete this first step we complete this parentheses part which is really great let's go to the next step after parentheses we should evaluate the expression with um, exponents so two squares three cube four to the fifth power yeah we have powers so right here we don't have any powers we have all the time first power which is really great so we don't need uh, to to evaluate this step right here so we forget about this step this is great okay let's go to the next step what about multiplication division group if we look closely we have also we have both we have division and multiplication sign so we have multiplication and we have division sign but a lot of students confused a lot of students say that we should multiply it first another part of students say that we should divide at first and it turns into a big argument and according to pandas pandas tells us okay let's scan what is the first sign from left to right doesn't matter multiplication division because multiplication division signs have the same priority okay so first of all let's scan what is the first sign from left to right where do we have this group we have this group right here so 2 divided by 2 times 2 and what is the first sign from left to right let's scan right here the first sign from left to right is obviously this division because second second sign is multiplication so right now let's divide we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1 and we have times times 2 we still have this multiplication part yeah we, we, we need to complete this we have to complete this part so we have 2 plus and right here we have 1 times 2 equal to equal to 2 obviously we complete this in our case division is second step but i would say this is like all the time this multiplication division all the time is second step so which have the same priority it doesn't matter it can be like division first multiplication first this is one common group so this is our second step and the third step as you can see this is basic addition so addition is right here so this is our third step and we don't have any subtraction so we can easily solve this addition part which is equal to which is equal to four and uh, this is really great i think um, for you to understand uh, what is the correct order to do this problem okay because if you multiply it first for example we multiply right here two times two but this is very common mistake right here because a lot of students should know that if you want to divide by the whole expression on the right you should put brackets okay you put brackets and then you can easily divide this is really important moment because right here we have like a, a regular expression from left to right step by step but if you want to divide by the whole expression we, sh we should put brackets right here put parentheses two plus two and then we have two divided by four but you should put these parentheses right here okay 
So the correct answer is 4. This is option B. I hope you understand this explanation. But if you don't trust me, you can easily check this answer in your scientific or graphing calculator. But don't use a regular calculator because, you know, some of those work with problems as you type it in. So, for example, you plug in 2 plus 2 and sometimes calculators gives you instantly 4. Because calculator don't know, it doesn't know what is the next step right here. What do you have further? And if you plug in the whole entire problem, then your calculator is smart enough. Okay, I have division, I have multiplication, addition, and then I know what you should do at first. Uh, multiplication, division, subtraction, parentheses. So it, it depends on your on your calculator and on your question, obviously. Okay. So correct answer is option B. I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So with that being said, see you in the next videos and have a great day.